Yesterday I went to the Herefordshire Cathedral Choir School where I work with year three. And we were trying to come up with ideas for stories about heroes. Um, and we're deciding, you know, should heroes be you know, big and tough or could they be quite small and sweet and cute? Um, so uh, in the end, we decided that Hereford City was being ravaged by the League of Monsters who had all kind of come together and they were surrounding the city and zapping things with laser beams from their eyes and the mayor said send the army out there and they all went out and they got turned to stone from these laser beams and he said well send the police out there and they all went out and they got turned to stone with these laser beams and in the end they said right all the grown-ups are gonna have to go out and fight these monsters so the year three teachers told the kids you know go into the hall there and close the curtains on the stage and hide behind the stage and whatever you do don't come out so uh, all the adults went off and they all got zapped by the uh, monsters and turned into stone so the kids all thinking, what are we going to do? What are we going to do? So this is where it took a long time getting the story out. And we decided we could have a little girl who was going to be the heroine. And her name was Polly, we decided. And I kept saying, so how are we going to, <laughs> how are we going to solve this problem? And the kids were going, mm, I don't know. So I said, maybe you've got these laser beam things. Maybe you could reflect them back. Oh, yes, said the children. So... <laughs> I said, how are we going to do that? So, you know, eventually, somebody says, with some reflective material, like a uh, broken window or something. I said, no, you need something maybe about that size, you know, that reflects. And where could we get something like that? And so I had various suggestions. Try eBay or Amazon. <laughs> I said, no, you've got five minutes. You've got to get it right now. And uh, so eventually somebody said, you know, oh, what about in the toilets? You might get a, a mirror in there. Yes, I said, where's the toilets? They said, through that door behind the stage. So I went looking in there, went behind the stage and there was just a kitchen. There was no toilet. And they said, no, through that other door. I went through the other door and it was just unbelievable. <laughs> there was this little room with a piano and a ballet bar and a mirror exactly the size that I had described. <laughs> so I brought this out and said, look. So anyways. In the story, the story continued. So all the children kind of went off hiding behind this shield. And as they went zap, 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 then all the monsters then got turned to stone, exactly like Perseus and the Medusa and all that kind of stuff. And then uh, the children would then decide after. So what are we going to do now? Are we going to look for the magic cure or the magic potion or the magic spell, which will bring all the grown-ups back to life again? And they went, no, <laughs> let's rule the world. And uh, so in the end, little Polly became the president. So in the end, we did these drawings showing what Polly would look like. Also, we thought we would need another character, which caused a lot of problems trying to come up with a name for him. So he was going to be a ballet dancer. He was going to be in year three, two. But on Wednesday afternoons at 4.15, he does ballet. And so he knew that there was a mirror in there. So he becomes part an integral part of the story. And um, so, so the boys didn't like the idea of having a boy doing ballet. And they all wanted names like Oscar and Sam and everyday names. I wanted something a little bit more kind of... Mm. And so in the end, we came up with Barry. <laughs> I don't think Barivznikov or something would have been a bit more exciting. But anyway, um, so uh, I showed how to draw Barry as well. I got the children up posing and, and all these fantastic, fantastic drawings. And um, I, I think looking at them, the little things, little interesting things, different ways all the children do their drawings it would be interesting to sort of pull them together and sort of come up with a, a character from them so uh, if you'd like me to do that in another video let me know and i'll show you how to draw polly and barry the ballet dancer <laughs> which would be something different so uh, anyway that's what we were doing yesterday in hereford cathedral school with year three thanks guys it was a good afternoon well done Let's look at that. Oh, yeah. oh, these really good hands. I know they're, they're kind of big, but the hands are really, really difficult to draw. Those are the legs of someone. <laughs> it's so funny. No, I love that the shadow is down here, so it's making him kind of hop and fly up in the air. She's very cute. She's very cute, isn't she? That's so sweet. And, and again, Barry. And all these Pollies and all these Barrys are very, very different, but they're all kind of the same at the same time. And I think I would quite happily look at them, take little elements from each of them and kind of put very, she's so sweet. I could put things together and I put that to one side and 
and to take elements from one thing and then put them together to create, you know, a final character. She's very funny. Huh? <laughs> That's great. I love these little faces in there. Uh, and it's got little hot red cheeks. Barry. And Polly. I'm just going to put that to one side. Oh, I like that. This nice kind of Barry in the background there. It's kind of building. Oh, yeah, and there too. Building the kind of lettering into the thing. She's looking very cute. <laughs> He's just leaping in the air. And she's very sweet. Yeah. So is he. She's very. I'm just gonna put him. That's a lovely Barry. He's very funny. I'm gonna put that to one side as well. And yeah. Fantastic. I'm gonna put that to one side. Gorgeous. He's very hilarious. <laughs> this is the legs. And there's Barry and Polly. Fantastic. I'm just going to show you how things alter. Here we've got three Pollys. And here these eyes are very wide apart, which makes her much younger than this one here. And here then the head is kind of squished a bit. And that kind of makes her a bit older. <laughs> And something, I kind of work out there's something similar here, but very, very different. Again, I think it's because she's got very small glasses and she's got quite big ones, but they're kind of similar. But it makes them look so very, very different. Fantastic. Well done, everybody. Really beautiful drawings. Well, I hope you enjoyed that. If you want to know a bit more about learning how to draw people, go and have a look at my Draw Stuff real easy video on how to draw people, or just have a go at the mystery drawing. <laughs> anyway, make sure you're subscribed for new drawings every Monday and Friday on the Shoe Rainer Drawing Channel. And why not go and visit my website to see what I get up to. Uh, in the meantime, keep drawing, drawing, drawing. Practice, practice, practice. And I'll see you next time. You take care now. Bye-bye. <laughs>